I have a new video for you guys because Demi Lovato is in a full-blown feud with an ice cream shop. Pretty much she posted about this small business on her story, calling them out for having dietary restricted options like sugar-free and gluten-free. She shared these stories to 102 million followers. So this restaurant got a ton of backlash and now they've been going back and forth online. So today I want to give you guys the latest updates because the yogurt shop has replaced to Demi's weak apology. So let's get into it. So this is going to be a pretty quick video because I just wanted to update you guys on the drama going on. If you have not seen my first video, definitely go check it out. It's about Demi Lovato and how she called out this yogurt shop for having these dietary restricted options on her Instagram story, which is horrible for a small business who is struggling during a pandemic. Like they don't need that bad press. It resulted in Demi actually apologizing on her Instagram, but her apology was very sorry, not sorry. Like she did not take any accountability for calling out the shop. I'm standing up for anyone who struggles in LA. Like this is a, this, you know, the whole country. And I'm passionate, so I'm sorry that I got the messaging wrong. I'm sorry. She really just apologized for how people took it because she doesn't care that she needs to apologize to the shop itself. She's just sorry that all her fans got really upset. Actually, my sister was just telling me she cannot even watch my second Demi video because Demi Lovato was being so selfish there. It's just, it's hard to watch. Especially as a Demi fan, like I want to watch her thrive. I don't want to watch her fight a small business online. It's just not a good look for anyone. So I'm not going to go over what has happened so far. I'm going to give you guys an update. So go watch those videos if you want to see. But there might be some light at the end of the tunnel because this tweet recently went viral. It says, apparently Demi donated $100,000 to this yogurt shop and wrote a private letter of apology. She is really such a pure soul who wants to make the world a little bit better. She has no ill intentions towards anyone, which that would be lovely and amazing if it was true. Someone reached out to the yogurt shop and sent them this tweet and asked him if it was true. They said, unfortunately, that is false. Demi Lovato and her team have been nothing but nice to us, which that would make sense to me. I mean, it doesn't seem like they've been collaborating. She claims in her apology that she wants to work with this shop to make the world a better place, but I doubt that she has any intentions of doing that. Took it as, okay, I'm going into a Froyo shop, I'm seeing sugar-free, I'm seeing this and that. If, I, if there was a sign that said celiac, vegan, I would have understood. That would have been clear messaging to me. I'm willing to talk to this Froyo shop to help get the messaging right. This part might get a little bit confusing, but someone took a screenshot of that conversation we were just talking about where they said, unfortunately, no, and they sent it to a fake account, a fake yogurt account, and had them reply something different to make it seem like, again, Demi did donate the 100K. I don't know who's trying to make it seem like Demi did this donation and wrote this letter, but it's fake news and she didn't do it, so I don't know why her fans are trying to protect her. So the fake message reads, from the Big Chill, the yogurt shop, Hello, we've had quite a lot of people asking about this. This DM is not real. We can gladly confirm that Demi did in fact donate to our shop. Unfortunately, we cannot disclose the amount donated as this is something Demi and her team wanted to keep private. In fact, we recently followed her and would love to do a future partnership with her in the future. We'll post more about this soon so make sure to follow us and stay posted so again that is a fake dm that was created i mean this yogurt shop has been dragged through hell and back i actually personally reached out to them i don't think they've replied back to me let me go ahead and check real quick so they haven't read my message but probably for a good reason because now they have forty thousand followers literally 40k they started off with like 2k when demi started calling them out so she gave them a lot of press but back to that fake dm and fake tweet so far we have a fake tweet that claims that demi donated 100k then we have a real message of someone asking the yogurt shop if the donation is true, they said, no, it's not. And then we have a fake edited screenshot of that screenshot that is real, claiming that the yogurt shop did actually work with Demi and that they were on good terms. Hopefully you guys can keep track with that. I know it's really hard and confusing. I mean, all these fake DMs, like how do you even create those? But the yogurt shop has responded to the whole situation and they are clearing their name. So they posted those two Instagram DMs on their story and they wrote, to those of you asking, we have not received any donations from Demi's team, nor do we want one. Ooh, we have not made any changes to our menu, period, as you shouldn't. 
We have not heard anything from Demi since her sorry, not sorry, apology on Monday. <gasps> call him out, Queen. Call him out. We have not heard from her team. These are photoshopped images. Thanks again for all of your support. So they are clearing their name and saying that Demi hasn't done anything for them. And it's actually sad to see how that tweet went viral. And a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, praise Demi. Like, she's such an angel, a pure soul for donating to them behind the scenes. No, all she did was do this sorry not sorry apology where she pretty much just ranted about how she does not agree that these dietary restriction options would be in the shop, which the world does not revolve around her. Again, I am a Demi fan, so it hurts to have to say this, but she needs to realize the world does not revolve around her. And that's pretty much all the updates. She hasn't posted anything else. Her little live stream about the ice cream situation is still on her page. I was thinking maybe she would delete it. And the ice cream shop hasn't posted anything else. But if there are any updates, guys, I will let you know because I feel like this is a saga and I hope Hopefully, hopefully this is just the third part and this business will just move along and live their best life. But you never know. The world is crazy. So thank you guys for watching this video. It's a quick one, so I'm not going to open a P.O. Box item. But I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in a new one soon. Bye, guys.